Okay, so Fatgum got quite a few changes, um, and overall he was buffed, so that's pretty good. Let's get into them. So his target combo, um, they basically just buff the tracking so it hits people more consistently when they're below or above him, so that's always good. His counter attack, um, they're just all slightly better, like they increase his, like the tracking in midair, they made it a little bit faster, they just, you know, made them pretty good, better overall. He can also kind of do like the Rapa-esque um, like pressure after his yellow attack now. He's like, if. What am I doing? I need to make Bakugo guard. You can do stuff like this. And just keep cancelling yellow attack into yellow attack. Yeah, break that guard. Okay. But yeah, see, as you can see, like, he can do that into the yeah yellow attack, into the that yellow attack, into the yeah yellow attack, and yeah. I mean, did I say Rapa? I meant Nomu. Nomu kind of pressure. Um, yeah, so better tracking on those. His Quirk 1 was actually buffed quite a bit, so they made it go further, they made it be a bit faster. They just, like, changed it a bunch. Like, wow, it does quite a lot of... I'm just stop guarding, by the way. It travels quite far, like, it's kind of a beast of a move now. Like, look how far that travels. That's... And it's yellow that whole time, so, like, if someone throws a projectile, it'll go through it. Or if they do an attack, it'll go straight through it. He actually nullifies projectiles, so, so he'll just go straight through them, like, not even absorb them. He'll just, like, he'll just completely go th like, ignore them. And... Because he's yellow this whole time, if the opponent presses a button or does something, you'll go straight through it. So that's a pretty awesome move, especially considering he can cancel it into anything, even on block. So as you can see here, I can cancel it. I can do the <laughs> the yellow pressure even on the ground, just like I could in the air. I can do it on the ground. Okay, I hate how they guard me to... It doesn't come back instantly. But yeah, I can do the... If I, like... I'm trying to get in from far away. Um, hey, wait, look, I can actually turn his guard gauge onto... No guard break. Um, like, if I just want to get in from super far, I can just press that. And it, wow, it even has, like, quite a bit of knockback. Like, it just bounces him back. Look at that, wow. So, like, it's totally safe. Like, even if you don't cancel it, he gets bounced back and recovers really quickly, so it's safe. Or, you can just cancel it into anything. Oops. Like, I could do this. Go into this and like trick them that way. I could cancel it into the parry, so if they try to punish me, they'll, you know, give me some, my, some stuff for my parry. Or I can just do it into my actual yellow attack and just keep doing that back and forth <laughs> until their armor breaks or they do make a mistake. So, like, if they try and press the button, they're probably gonna get hit because both of these moves have pretty good tracking. They're gonna have to do something to get through that. I honestly don't know what. So, good luck if you have me to Fat Gum that does this a lot. Because that's going to be pretty awesome, and he can do that from anywhere, because he just launches himself in from, like, all the way over here. He can just get this pressure going. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> and, okay, and, um... Yeah, so basically it just goes faster, it goes through projectiles, and it goes extremely far. Like, so far. And there's even a slight hit on the rollout that he does there, as you saw. Okay, um... His Quirk 2, they kind of just changed how he, like, builds up to becoming Skinny Gum. Sk skinny Gum? Is that what he's called? Fat Gum and Skinny Gum? Um, they just make it so, like, it's a fifth when they hit him for the first time, so I guess you just have to hit it five times. I don't really know. They made the Plus Ultra um, just hit more consistently. They fixed some hitboxes in his Plus Ultra. Um, for Skinny Gum, how do I turn into Skinny Gum quickly? I don't really... Do I have to watch the whole Plus Ultra 2? Um, so Skinny Gum just got a few changes. Um, his target combo, I don't really know what they're talking about. Remove the first stage of the ground. But he, like, he still does all of the hits. I'm not really sure what they're trying to say there. Um, there was a quite a few buffs to his counter attacks. Basically, they just have high damage. I wonder how much damage that is. Ooh, okay, that's pretty decent. Especially since I can, like, cancel it into, um, quirk buttons. Wow. Um, it gives him more plus ultra when he does it, like more plus ultra meter, okay. Um, has higher, like better hitboxes, and it happens a bit faster in the air. So that's pretty cool. 
And slight changes to his quirk, his tilt quirk one, increase the attack judgment in midair downward. Um, don't really know what that means. Maybe it just means it has lower priority or it, like it has lower hitbox, I don't really know. But you know, slight buffs for fat gum and it's always good to see. Honestly, skinny gum doesn't really seem that like <laughs> great compared to fat gum now. Like those buffs that fat gum got were kind of like amazing. So uh, I guess you're going to be using a ton of your um, Quirk 2s with Skinny Gum, because now you can end your combos in this, because you're probably going to get want to get back to Fat Gum. Oops. Like if you do a combo like this. You're going to yeah, want to be doing these Quirk 2s a bunch, because they do a ton of damage, and you get to be Fat Gum. I never thought you would want to willingly become Fat Gum, but it seems pretty awesome right now. Like, have you seen how he can do this? Wait, what, look at this combo. <laughs> Wait, I messed it up. Uh, I mean, you can even yeah do this. Like, all of that was meterless. That was just like a bunch of stuff that just connects into each other. I get almost 9,000 damage. Like, that's pretty awesome for a meterless combo. Especially for Fat Gum, who is not a character who's known for his combos. Um, and actually, he can actually, um, because his Quirk 1 reaches his further now, he can actually connect it off of his air attack, so he gets a bit better combos that way, and he can do something like this. Um, so if I do a combo like this. <laughs> That's over 9,000 damage, and it wasn't even a meteor blow. So if I was facing the wall then, they would have gotten, like, stuck in the wall, and I already dealt pretty decent damage. So, yeah, pretty good stuff for Fat Gum. That's all of his changes, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.